Hi. There are thousands of really great layer styles in Photoshop and you can use them in After Effects sort of. They're pretty good but there are a couple of problems. So starting off in Photoshop using your pen tool create a shape. It doesn't matter what shape it is any shape will do. Once you have a shape go to your styles menu select your style toy in this case and click. That's all you need to do here. File, save and save it as a PSD file. I'll just call it toy, save. Okay. Then going into After Effects File, Import, File, Toy, Open. Import it as an editable layer styles and it will come in. You'll see that it will open as a composition. Double click on the composition. You'll see it has Shape 1 which has the layer styles in it. If you want to get rid of these guides, click here and turn them off. Now in theory all we have to do is select the layer styles heading, command control C, and that will copy them to any other layer. In this case, turn off the transparency, Using our text tool, just type a letter. We've already copied the layer styles, so select the text and Control Command V, and in theory it copies the style. You can see it's copied some of it, but it hasn't copied the pattern. With some styles, it will be fine, you don't have to do anything else. But if it has a pattern, there is a workaround. But what you need to do is to convert your layer to masks. Select your layer, go to layer, and you'll see it says create masks from text. Select that. You'll now have outlines here, which is your mask layer. If you toggle that open, you'll see the mask. Select the mask, Control Command Copy, C. They're in your shape layer. Select it, Control Command V, and it will paste it. And you can delete the outlines and the original shape. So far, so good. You can, of course, then use your pen tool to create masks or more masks or whatever mask you want. And you can also keyframe that to move in any way that you want to do it. If you go down to layer styles, pattern overlay, you'll see that you also have some settings here such as the scale and the offset. So you can uh, fiddle and play with those and have them wherever you want them. There is, however, one major gotcha. Open this one here and you'll see that as we move the text around, let's turn off the masks, that the pattern doesn't move. So as it moves, the shapes will move through the pattern. However, often that isn't really too much of a problem. You are able to use many of the text animators. It's many opacity that won't work with this. In this particular case, we just have the letters rotating. This is just plain text layer. To create masks from that, select it, go into layer, auto trace, your auto trace will come up 
I usually turn off the blur, press OK, and you now will have a series of masks which you can copy over to your PSD layer. Command Control C, going back to your other layer, select it, Control V, and the animation will go with it. You can also, of course, do that with shape layers that are animated. Thank you very much. I'll look forward to seeing you next time.